Welcome to the Spoken Tutorial on Google Drive Options. In this tutorial, we will learn about the options available in Google Drive like creating a document, a spreadsheet and a presentation, uploading files and folders and sharing options. For this tutorial, you will need a working internet connection and any web browser. I will be using Firefox web browser. As a prerequisite, you should have basic knowledge of Gmail. If not, please refer to the relevant Gmail tutorials on our website. Let's begin. Open the web browser and log in to your Gmail account. I have already done so. On the top right, we can see a grid icon next to our name. When we move the mouse over it, the help text says apps. Click on this. This will show us a few Google apps like Google Plus, Search, YouTube, Maps, Play Store, News, Mail, Drive, Calendar and more. If we click on them, we will be redirected to the particular Google app. We can also rearrange this list based on our preference by dragging the apps icon to any other position. In this tutorial, we will specifically learn about Drive. So, let me click on Drive. This will open the Google Drive page in a new tab. At the top of the page, we can see a search bar. On the left, there are some menus. And on the top right, there are some icons. In the center, we can see two files. The first one was shared with us during account creation by the Google team. The second one is the file which we ourselves uploaded earlier. Now, let us have a look at the left side menus. We have the following menus. New, My Drive, Shared with Me, Google Photos, Recent, Start and Trash. By default, My Drive menu will be selected and its content will be displayed in the center. All the files and folders will be displayed in the center area. So, we can see the PDF and the zip file that we had uploaded in the previous tutorial here. The files which are created or uploaded by us will also be stored under My Drive. The next menu is Shared with Me. Let me click on this. If anyone shares a file or document with me, it will be displayed under this menu. As of now, no one has shared any file with me, so this is empty. Recently, Google has created a shortcut link to access Google Photos within the drive. We will skip this option for this tutorial. The recent menu will display the list of files or documents which were opened recently. It will display both the My Drive and Shared With Me contents. So, here we can see the PDF and the zip files because we had opened it earlier. Start. If we have marked any file or document as important, that file will be displayed under this menu. Let us go back to My Drive menu and right click on our PDF file. Now, choose Add Star option. Next, click on Start menu. Here is our file. Let me make a copy of this file. So once again, right click on the file and choose Make a copy option. Now we have two files. Let us delete one of them. Select the file and press the delete key on the keyboard. Deleted files or documents will be displayed under trash menu. The deletion is temporary however. We can delete all the files permanently from the trash menu by selecting empty trash option. All the files in the trash menu will automatically be deleted permanently from the Google server after 30 days. Now, let us learn how to create and upload files and folders. There are four ways to do this. The first way is to click on the red colored new button on the left. The second way, right click on my drive option. Now, 
let us come back to my drive. In the my drive option, we can right click in the center area. Lastly, click on my drive drop down menu at the top. Let us explore with the new option. Click on new button. It will display some options like folder, file upload, Google Docs, Sheets, Slides and more. We will see each option one by one. We can create a folder using the folder option. Click on it. Immediately it prompts us for a name. Let us name the folder as Spoken Tutorial and click on create button. By default, this folder will appear under my drive. We can see it here in the center area. Folders help us to organize our files better. So, we can create separate folders, for example, personal, work, etc. To upload any file, first click on new button, then click on file upload. This will open a file browser window. Browse and select the file that you want to upload. I'll select xyz.odt from the desktop and click on open button. At the bottom right, we can see the progress of the upload. This may take some time based on the size of the file and internet speed. Once completed, the uploaded file will be displayed in the center area. Now, close the progress window at the bottom. In the same way, we can upload a folder on the drive using the folder upload option. This feature may be available in certain browsers only. For example, Google Chrome. How can we move our uploaded file into our spoken tutorial folder? Simply drag and drop the file into the folder like this. Now on the left side, look at my drive option closely. Notice a small triangle to the left of it. Clicking on it will show the subfolders under my drive. See, here is our folder spoken tutorial and here is the file xyz.odt inside it. For our day-to-day -day work, we use documents, spreadsheets and presentations. Is it possible to create and manage them on drive? Yes, it is. In Google Drive, we can create Documents, spreadsheet and presentations just like in any other office suite. So we have Google Docs for creating documents, Google Sheets for creating spreadsheets and Google Slides for creating presentation. For demonstration purpose, I will only show how to create a document using Google Docs. To create a new document, click on New button and select Google Docs option. This will open an empty document in a new tab. We can see that the menus and text formatting options are the same as in any other office suite. At the top, notice that the document is titled as Untitled Document. This is an editable title. To rename the title, click on the text. Rename Document window opens. Here, we can type a suitable title for our document. I will type my first Google Doc and click on OK. Notice the change in the title. Next, let me type some content here. Say, Welcome to Google Docs. Any addition, modification or deletion made to this document will be auto-saved. Look for the message all changes saved in Drive next to the Help menu at the top. If we click on that, we can see the revision history on the right. It has the last modified date and time and also shows who made the modification. As of now, this document is not shared with anyone. So, we can see only one user, Rebecca Raymond, with the date as today and time. If this Google Doc is shared with multiple people, the revision history will list all the changes made by each user with a unique color for each user. We will see this feature a little later in this tutorial. Close the revision history. Let me close this tab. The Google Doc will be automatically saved. 
Once again, we are in my drive and we can see our file here. Double click on it to open it again. Now, we will copy paste the line Welcome to Google Docs twice and then close the tab. Double click on the file once again to open it. Again, copy paste the line Welcome to Google Docs once. Now, click on Revision History. We can see all the revisions of the file along with the date, time stamp and user information. If multiple revisions are not seen, then click on Show More Detailed Revisions button at the bottom. The revisions are arranged in chronological order with the latest revision at the top. Click on each revision and understand how this feature works. Let me now share this document with two other users. For this, click on Share button at the top right. Share with others dialog box appears. In the People text box, we have to give the email IDs of the people with whom we want to share this document. So, I will type 0808 at gmail.com. Note that the autofill feature is available here for email IDs to whom we had sent the emails earlier. There are three modes in which we can share the document with other users. Click on the button here to see these three modes. Can edit, can comment, can view. Can edit option gives the other users permission to make changes in the document itself. Can comment option gives the other users permission to suggest changes. Can view option gives the other users viewing permission only. They cannot make or suggest any changes. Let us give can edit option to 0808 I am Becky. I will also add st libreoffice at gmail.com. Remember to use a comma separator between two email IDs. As soon as we enter the email IDs, there is a change in this window. We get add a note text area. If we want to send some information about this document to other users, then we can type it here. I will type, please find attached a document for testing purpose. Kindly modify or suggest as per the permission given to you. Thanks, Ray.Becky. Lastly, click on send button to complete the sharing process. This will send an email notification with our message and a link to the shared document to other users. Once again, click on share button. Then, click on advanced. Now for the user ST LibreOffice, we will change the sharing mode to can comment. Lastly, click on save changes button and then on done and close this document. Now assume that both the users made some modifications in the shared document. When we open the document again after some time, we can find the edits made by the other shared users. Since stlibreoffice at gmail.com had only suggest permission, we can see the suggestions given by that user. Move your mouse to the suggestion box over the check and cross marks. The check mark says accept suggestion and the cross mark says reject suggestion. Let me accept one suggestion and reject the other. We can see a comment here from 0808 I am Becky. And here we can see a resolve button. The users with candidate option can reply to that comment by clicking on the comment text. To remove the comment thread, click on resolve button. We cannot see any of the modifications made to the document by 0808 I am Becky. Recall, this user had edit permission in the document. So, how can we find out what changes were made by that user? For that, we can check our revision history. To open it, we will click on File and then on See Revision History. We can see that 0808 I am Becky made some changes and this is seen in a different color. 
We can also see the suggestions given by stlibreoffice at gmail.com in a different color. And of course, being the owner, we will see our own work in a different color. Let us close the revision history window now. There is another way to share a document. Click on share button. In the share with others window, at the top right corner, we can see the text get shareable link. Click on it. It says anyone with the link can view. This will create a link to this document. Now, we can send this link to any email ID, which means that anyone who has this link can view the document. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned to access Google Drive, create and upload files, create Google Docs and use the sharing options. The video at the given link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops and give certificates for those who pass our online tests. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This script has been contributed by Praveen and this is Sri Lakshmi Ramaswamy from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.